Okay, in the previous video, which focused on determining the mass of NaOH uh, utilizing uh, a simple neutralization titration, now what we're going to do is look at how we apply that technique to determining the mass of other bases. And the basis, or the base that we're going to utilize here is this one, XC2H3O2, where X is some type of metal cation. Uh, let me just go ahead and write that in here. It's some type of metal cation. All right, and this video is going to go out to two different groups. The only difference in the responsibility of the two groups is going to be in recognizing that in one group you're going to be using uh, uh, one type of indicator and in the other group you're going to be using a different indicator. So let's get on with this. We're going to calculate the mass in grams of XC2H3O2. Um, the molar mass of this particular molecule we're going to take to be um, 82 grams per mole, so I'm going to go ahead and write that in here. Now, you're going to start out with a solution that's going to be approximately 25 mLs that will contain XC2H3O2 plus water. Um, you're going to use four drops of an indicator. All right, in Chem 7, the indicator is BTB. And you're going to be going from a blue to a green endpoint. In Chem 8, you're going to be utilizing Moxie. And you're going to be going from a... Uh, you're going to be going from a green endpoint uh, to a purple one. That's the only difference. There is no other difference here. There is no confusion. Um, and then the other thing is this solution is going to contain X grams of XC2H3O2, where this X is not the X that's part of the formula. Okay, now to find the grams of XC2H3O2, we're gonna we're going to go ahead and titrate to the endpoint. So we're gonna dispense fluid out of the burette to the point where we reach the end point, which for chem 7 is the green endpoint, and for chem 8 it's the purple endpoint. In this example, we're going to assume that we end up dispensing 6.3 mLs of the fluid and it is a 0.2 molar hydrochloric solution. Now I'm just going to draw a line straight down through this. First thing that we need to do for the calculation is convert the mils to liters. All right, and uh, so we're going to divide 16.3 mLs by a thousand and that's going to give us 0 0.063 liters of solution dispensed. This will be multiplied times uh, the molarity, which is 0 0.2 moles of HCl per liter. And you can see that the liters cancels out. And this is going to equal 0 0.00326 moles of HCl. Now, if you look at the equation, you can see that the mole ratio is 1 to 1. 1 to 1. So we're going to take this value now and we're going to multiply it times the mole ratio. So we're going to have 0 0.00326 moles of HCl. And this is going to be times 1 mole of X, C2H3O2, uh, per 1 um, HCl. And you can see that the HCls cancel out. And we're going to end up with uh, 0 0.00326 moles of XC2H3O2. 
Now to get to the mass of this compound, we just have one step left. So I'm going to just move my moles down here. It's going to be 0 0.00326 moles of XC2H3O2. And then this will be times the molar mass, which I diagrammed above. And this will be equal to 82 grams per mole. And when we multiply this out, we're going to get a 0.27 grams of XC2H3O2. Same, same for both classes. The only difference between Chem 7 and Chem 8 is the use of the indicator. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close the video.